Hello, beautiful souls and all signs. It is your girl, Sacred 144 Tarot. I am here for another general and timely like Akashic style reading. Now, I have done this before. It's with the Akashic Tarot and some of my other cards as led as well as channeled. It is digging into past lives, soul purpose, and anything we might find in the Akashic Records. Now, this is for those who are on their journey, who are looking for soul clarity or guidance. Take what resonates, of course, and leave what doesn't for the next person so that it can resonate for them. All roles can be reversed. You do already know if you clicked on this channel that you are home. So I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for the love that you poured to me and the likes. The subscribes, the comments, your emails, and just your reflection of light. I do truly appreciate it, and I send you all the love right back. Now that we've cleared your energy. Holy Spirit, Father, Light, Lord of the Records. Holy Spirit, Lord of the Records. You reveal what it is that the watcher may need to know at this time. All right. We will be grabbing four cards and then we'll grab some supporting messages. And whatever comes up through spirit will also channel the queen of forces I believe that one came out last time too now this is a high priestess card uh, it is the queen of cups in this deck but we will also be reading it um, just because they do also give explanations which some of you may need to hear um, for your own soul, soul journey path and it may resonate with any of your past lives if you are exploring them at this time. What else can you tell us, Father, Light, and Holy Spirit? Father, Light, and Holy Spirit, what else can you tell us about the Queen of Forces? What else can you tell us about this, this soul record that really wanted to come out? The Oracle of Delph. Of Delphi. What else do we need to know at this time? Now, if you would like a personal reading or Akashic Records Soul Journey session, feel free to take a look at the box below. I do work with Creator, with Source Energy, and I work with Holy Spirit, so the highest form of feminine wisdom. And any of your guides that may come up if they want to present themselves. Ooh, look as a guide wants to be shown. Look at that. All these. You hear from people. Your guides in a 333 on the clock. You have definitely um, loved ones in heaven or ancestors that support you. It looks like you have some fairies as well. Could be having fairy spirit guides. I'm gonna grab one more card. Now I'm grabbing four cards, and as I said, I am going to read their meanings. I'm reading them diagonal across from each other. This is you. I think you may have been the Queen of Forces in the other reading too. So if you'd like, feel free to check out the other Akashic style general reading I did. It may resonate with you. The Queen of Forces came out there too. All right, one more card, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Father Light. Uriel and the Sphinx. Archangel Uriel can definitely resonate with you with all this orange that's over here. Bottom of the deck, Archangel Michael. 
there's something about your childhood here, which is what I'm getting, especially so we have this Archangel Michael 111 on the clock. We have this adolescent here, and then we have this queen. But let's take a look at the Akashic Tarot guidebook over here. We're going to read them out, and we're going to be grabbing some more messages as well. We'll grab one of these messages, and we'll... Look for the Queen of Forces. The sun came out from another deck, so we are going to keep that. A lot of orange, a lot of yellow. A lot of Queen of Heaven. So the sun and the Queen of Heaven, a lot of high vibration, a lot of beautiful light here. The Queen of Heaven, it, it is said that she wears a crown that looks like the sun and the queen of heaven and the queen of forces over here they actually stand they're standing in the same position and the queen of heaven fell out near the queen of forces so I you may very well resonate with the queen of heaven energy Ashera Aset Isis God has like 10,000 names, Mother Mary, 233 on the clock. So you can very much resonate with this energy. We're going to read the Queen of Horses over here. There we go. This card shows a woman balancing the energies of a sun. Oh, look at that. That's why the sun came out over here. Balancing the energy of the sun. High priestess energy, too. She who stands in between the pillars of the light and the dark here. When it comes to the high priestess card, you can resonate with this. So right now, the queen of heaven and the queen of forces is... It is representing the Queen of Heaven. It's also representing the High Priestess energy or Goddess energy. A sun in one hand and a moon in the other with a river flowing beneath her feet. Sometimes this card can represent a person in your life, either you or someone else, coming into a phase of great power and ability to sustain it with wonderful results. You're coming into a phase of great power with this sun energy. The sun is here, which she's holding in one hand, and we have the queen of heaven, which can very much so be the queen of forces over here in this deck. With these two leading energies, with the sun that came out from another deck by mistake, you're entering into a time of very high vibration. You can very much so be working with Archangel Uriel, um, Archangel Uriel comes with great power, great warmth, great nurture, great abundance, you know, so you can resonate with that energy for sure. We, we have over here 22. I want to look at this card over here. This is the one thing about nails. A-D-S-U-M. A-D-S-U-M. That is card 22. A candle casts light on an open book held by a young woman sitting at the desk. I feel like this is the younger version of you right here. Her eyes are drawn to the side as if she were distracted from her reading by a curious thought or someone nearby. She is surrounded by several people, many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing. An angel bends and whispers, at Sum, I arrive, I am here, I attend you. At Sum is a single word that has many, many meanings. First, it affirms your own strength and focus in the present. You can use it as a command word whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand. Say, At Sum, I am here, and feel yourself attend to the situation or person before you. This word also declares your arrival at your goals and all your wishes coming true. Say, at soon, I arrive. At soon, for some of you, you may recognize that word. 
It can be from a past life. So you can already recognize that word. When I say atsum, it can bring a soul remembrance to you or awakening of some sort. This is definitely a card. I feel like you've been supported from a child. Like you could have been someone who had like imaginary friends, which is that high priest or priestess energy. Like you could totally be one of those uh, younger children, adolescents, young teenagers who had imaginary friends who maybe um, had a connection with ancestors, whether that were conscious or subconscious. Um, it also resembles you, you reaching your goal. It resembles your growth as well when it comes to coming into this power. It resembles your soul's progression. Um, I, I also just saw it, the discovery of, I feel like you bring coming into this power is a lot of discovery from your childhood. And by discovery from your childhood, like you had gifts in childhood. You could have very much so had imaginary friends, but they weren't imaginary friends. You know, you've just always, you've always been in high priest or priestess energy. You've always been she or he who stands in between the pillars or in between the realms, the portal keeper. You can resonate with that energy for sure. A lot of sun energy, very high vibration as well. You had imaginary friends as a child because something happened to you as a child which made you very creative but what people don't see that's that's why you are she who stands in between the pillars there's some sort of darkness to you as well but i feel like you've balanced your light i feel like though like when you were a child part of these imaginary friends part of this energy right here part of your creativity you could have even been very intelligent as a child but that was because it was some sort of coping mechanism some sort of escapism and that's what fueled your creativity was some sort of darkness as a child we are going to read this over here excuse me for the sniffle the oracle of delphi the pythia or the priestess of delphi sits upon a high three-legged seat steam gently rises from a small fissure in the ground nearby a robed priest prepares to write upon an open scroll while the Pythia psychically receives the perceptions from Apollo, it is the priest who interprets who interprets her pronouncements. Yeah, her pronouncements. In this, we see the two important keys in psychic experience, perception and interpretation. When you receive this card, you're in a time of great insight and psychic power. You are in your power at this time. If you resonate with this reading so far, you are in your power at this time. You have done a lot of work. You um, you can resonate with extrasensory perception as well. You're f the th you are in the 5D. You know your your third and fourth eye are open at this time. Like your third eye is beyond open, so you can resonate with that. That's just your life. You know you your reality is different. You know you've always been that way. That's why you're here as a child with all these different um all these different fairies and past loved ones and spirits because you're all you've always been someone who sees you see much more of uh, the, the veil is very very thin for you and always has been even if you don't recognize it yet it lies very close to your consciousness because you have used this gift in so many past lives yes so that's why this is coming up and that's why so this lifetime your telepathy your psychic gifts are so strong. I mean, so strong to the point where society may reject your gifts. Society itself doesn't understand your gifts because, so you can resonate too with, um, whether that be from childhood or now, that society doesn't understand you. And that's because you, my dear, and like I hear like my dear, my beloved, it, you, my beloved, you've been here so many times before. That's why no one understands you. You've always used this gift. I feel like in another lifetime, 
you could have very much so been someone who operated very heavily with the crown and third eye chakra, which is why in this lifetime, even as a child, it's always been wide open. You may get images or feelings without knowing how to interpret them. So for some of you, this past life, you're only now awakening to it. So while some of you may really be in your power, others of you, you know, you are in your power, but you're awakening to that beautiful power of yours that is within you, that has always been within you. This gift your soul has been working on for so many lifetimes. Take notes as you practice both your psychic perceptions and your interpretations. Just as they gave the Oracle of Delphi a profound awareness, your psychic perceptions and their interpretations give you powerful insight and an Akashic vision of the world. Yeah, you are she who they are he who stands in between the pillars. We're gonna read 21 as well. The Archangel Uriel stands before the Sphinx under a full moon. The Sphinx is usually shown with the body of a lion, indicating strength and the head of a king, showing authority and intelligence. But more than this, the Sphinx represents the enigmatic and inscrutable, the silent holder of truth and the ancient mysteries of the world. So you, you can very much resonate with God or Goddess energy, with Queen King energy as a past life. Um, in your past life, for sure, though, you were High Priest Priestess. You are await you are either in your power and working with that and harnessing that power, or you are awakening to the power of he or she who is a silent holder of truth. I mean like real high priest priestess energy. Like when I'm talking this reading, this reading feels like if you go back in the day, the high priest priestess, you couldn't get a word out of them. You could actually barely find them. They were so royalty back then. And then he, and some of them worked in hiding because they were hung, they were persecuted, they were called this, this, and that. Yeshua himself was a high priest. And so you can resonate with that energy for sure because you, and that's why you're awakening to this. I'm going to keep reading before I keep going on for you. Here the Archangel Uriel connects and confers with this great source of mystery. This this page is also 99. You could be seeing 99, 333 three on the clock. This card shows it's time for you to do the most important and possibly the most difficult work in your life. The digging and inner discovery that takes you to your deepest self and your deepest power. Why are things changing in your life? Because you need to awaken to this power to harness this energy here on earth. This is someone who is a silent holder of truth of the earth, of the collective. Even the Great Sphinx has to be dug out many times from the blowing desert sands that buried it up to its neck. And you must dig diligently too. Spirit's really guiding you to dig into your past lives. Um, part of your karmic release and clearing this lifetime is to come fully into this power, which means you're going to have to release trauma. You're going to have to release dis-ease. You're going to have to release anything within you that is not the truth because you are someone who's going to hold such deep um, ancient wisdom or truth or holds um, such deep ancient wisdom or truth. So you have what this is saying is that your soul has agreed to come here and do a lot of work, a lot of clearing. You're going to be doing dig deeping. Uh, <laughs> uh, deep digging rather to get to this to get to this diamond it's like um going through um and it's more like pressure built a diamond energy honestly not a needle i was thinking a needle in a haystack but it's more of pressurizing a diamond because this is what's within you this is beautiful energy you may have to chip away at rock-like substance of your old beliefs and history so that you could get the truth inside. Yep. You got to you got you came here, you chose your soul chose to come here to do deeper work. And I don't want to say deeper work, right? But you're doing really deep work because you have to hold a lot of truth. And to hold a lot of truth to to have so much wisdom, to see so much, you're definitely a seer to see, to harness so much. You have to make room but don't worry, you have begun already and you've made considerable inroads. There's also someone to help you, Archangel Uriel, who means fire of God. Fire of God. The fire of God. The blue flame activation comes up. 
You may be praying psalms about fire. But what Archangel Ariel wants you to know is that your life is being purified by the fire of God so that you, because that's your gift, you have a gift of fire. And you use it very wisely if you know that you have that gift. If you don't know that you have that gift, you're coming into that. But you have a gift of fire. It's within your hands. And you are here to purify yourself to have that and harness that beautiful gift. You have beautiful, very deep, ancient gifts over here. Your soul has been working on this for so many lifetimes, which is why it started for you as a child so young. I do feel like you experience some darkness and it, the Archangel Uriel um, card confirms that, but that's so that you can harness this, this power and really stand in between the pillars over here. You can work directly in your meditations with this Archangel for self-understanding, transformation, and guidance. Also be on the lookout for someone in your daily life whom our, uh, Uriel has sent. This could be a teacher, a mentor, or even a new friend who shares a kinship with you about this inner quest. Don't diminish the importance of this phase. It is the work that leads you to your initiation into your higher power. So on your spiritual journey, you can resonate. If you've been going through initiations, um, many cultures believe that these um, life events and things of that nature are God's initiation or purifications of those who uh, of those whom he has chosen you know so make it fit to to your culture to your journey to your beliefs to your experience you're someone who has beautiful energy and you have beautiful powerful gifts much beyond what the society sees oh yeah there you go yeshua oh and there you go holy spirit the Shekinah sacred, you are living in your highest self. I did say, I did mention, I think, Yeshua, that he was a high priest who went through all of these same things as well to harness the same gift, the same power over here. So you could very much so also be on a Christ consciousness path with the sacred self, Shekinah light, and Yeshua over here on a path or journey to your highest self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts. You are on a path of love, light, and forgiveness. Yeah. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ascension. Definitely ascension energy. You've got the power. You're coming into your power, remembering your power, whatever it is for you. All right. Holy Spirit, for this Akashic message, for whoever it resonates. It says, loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. I do feel like you're releasing, you're making room, and that's what part, what part of this message is about. I do feel like you're making room. I feel like spirit has high expectations for you. There's, I'm sorry, defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. You're clearing a lot of karma. But that's because you have a lot of, um, so you may resonate with the feeling of feeling like you have some dark darkness or maybe your past or your childhood has darkness. That's because you're here to shine that bright, quite frankly, is what's coming up here. Baby steps, following your intuition. You're clearing to make room to bring light to your ancestral line. Clearing karmic connections. So you may very well be on, rather be in a cycle right now of shedding. Can I have one more card for this? Yeah, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. You're making room so you could have this intelligence. You're healing deep wounds this lifetime because you're here to experience and to harness this deep infinite intelligence of the universe the the uh, intelligence of the universe lies within you that's what this card says learning how to be human in the world but not of it right over here 
I have another card for this message. Holy Spirit. River of Blessings. There goes the river. There was a river for the Queen of Forces as well. Releasing constraints. The Nile may also resonate with you. There goes the Lion Spirit again. River of Blessing. Releasing constraints. That's what you're doing at this time. You are shedding. You are releasing. That is because you need to make room for this intelligence. Look at that psychic abilities. You need to make room for these psychic abilities in future vision. Your soul did not choose any path it couldn't handle. You're here to harness great power this lifetime. You're here to hold yourself very accountable and to have high responsibility this lifetime. That is what your soul chose. Shamanic journey, purpose, attunement, vision quest. What you don't see is you are aligned in this very moment, no matter what it is that you're shedding at this time. You are coming into your purpose. You are very much a shamanic medicine woman or man, as Yeshua was, or just remembering everyone is. Everyone is a shamanic woman or man. Everyone's a healer. Everyone. You're coming into this knowing. You're very much on a shamanic journey. You might even be uh, learning how to be a shaman. You might um, getting certifications, things of that nature. But you're on, you, this is the long haul, the shamanic journey of yours. This soul clearing to come into and harness this beautiful ancient wisdom, healing. You have gifts of healing and power. You're very much so in the 3D embodying these gifts which is why I feel like you can have ESP or as a child just experience different otherworldly experiences or energies. Do you feel like your body itself is very powerful? Your, your presence, you have a powerful presence. That did fall face up. I'll grab that. Paradigm shift. That's what you're experiencing. I do feel like you're shedding at this time because you're experiencing a paradigm shift in between the worlds. You may resonate with that this time. The sound of the universe over here. Yeah, you're a little bit in between the worlds. Learning how to live and be in the world but not of it. Learning how to harness that beautiful power, that queen of heaven, the queen of forces over there, queen or king. You're in the midst of release and you're in the midst of integration right now. Beautiful things await you, especially next year. Jupiter and Pisces is still going to assist your journey for whoever this soul is as well with everything else going on. We are in the shadow period of Mercury retrograde, Mercury, Mercury retrograde, we have Venus retrograde, so expect a little bit more release, so expect some introspection, however it re resonates with your journey. There goes the fairies, you have fairies as a guide for sure, 100%, you have fairies because there's been more than one message. Your fairies are beautiful, growth, expansion, flowering, the gift. Your gifts are expanding, your spiritual gifts are expanding, you may have fairy guides they guide you you already know this or you dream of this and your gifts right here you are the gift uh present uh, honoring and offering um your gifts are expanding your spiritual gifts your your 5d gifts your psychic gifts uh, perhaps love you might be going through a heart awakening at this time with all the green heart expansion we're gonna grab one more message and then i'll send you on your way I hope this message resonates with you. I hope it brings you clarity to your soul's journey and anything you may be experiencing. Go with the flow, letting go, cleansing, receiving. Allow your soul to cleanse and release itself. It's it's making room because you are here to harness uh, and to be a container and a vessel of such high, psychic, powerful, beautiful, divine gifts. But you need to release what doesn't resonate with you. You need to release mindsets, old programs, old beliefs, habits that don't 
resonate with this vibration. You are here to harness a 5D vibration. You must let go of the three. You must let go of what no longer resonates with you. And you will be stepping into this beautiful spiritual, you're going through rather a beautiful spiritual upgrade. You're not really stepping into it. It's just surrendering to it because this is serving you and cleansing you. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Of, look at the river over here too. So much water. You might very well be crying. You might be experiencing or you might be taking a spiritual bath. Might be guided to. Allow this water, allow this divine water, this divine cleansing to cleanse you of what no longer serves you because you are stepping into your gifts um, in light speed. You know, but that's what I have for you, beautiful souls. I hope it resonates with you. Sending you so much love and so many blessings.